Hello and welcome to the Mega Brevone channel. So this time we're going to be moving on from the interior light, which you can just see probably in the in the frame there, um, to fitting um, a Bluetooth speaker. And uh, it's probably going to be a shorter video because everything's more or less set up. But um, I'll show you what I've been doing. So first things first uh, is cleaning the sun visor because that's where I'm planning on putting the um, the speaker because then I can sort of flip it up and put it out of the way so this was filthy I mean <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't really believe how black it actually was and if you look at uh, this wet wipe here and if I've gone through a couple um, that's a little less dirty now but I couldn't understand why it was black as soot I'm not sure what uh, what it was used for, or probably because I haven't cleaned it very often, but uh, I don't think I've cleaned it since I bought the van. I'll probably have, but you know, it's just amazing how much blackness there was on there. But I need to clean it because I'm going to put some, some Velcro fasteners on it. So, um, this is the Velcro that I've bought. Uh, it's supposed to be heavy duty seven kilograms. Uh, I don't think my speaker weighs seven kilograms, but Hopefully it will stay up there and won't fall off while I'm driving. So the speaker is uh, one I've had for quite some time. Um, I don't know, probably about five years or six years, something like that. And it was given to me by my uh, brother and sister-in-law. Uh, it's an IKEA Enerby. So uh, I'm hoping this will do the job. Uh, you've got three um, batteries, which I've got in my hand there, uh, that fit into it. Uh, it's a an old USB uh, plug, uh, not USB-C, I can't remember what it's called, the, the old one, you'll probably tell me. And uh, he's got a button to pair it up and that's it really. But it's quite a good speaker, I, I quite like the sound on it, it's quite a bit of bass. So hopefully we'll be able to hear that over the sound of the uh, the engine. So I'm going to have to fit it upside down, it's got little feet underneath, purely because the the hub up here um, will have to be near the speaker obviously because I need to plug it in. I should point out that uh, the batteries um, in the the top there, a uh, little, little slotted uh, circling thing that you turn around to take them out, are rechargeables. So yeah, so that's going to go up here like that. Using, it's using the 7 kilogram Velcro and hopefully it's not going to move. So I'm going to stick that up there, plug it all in, set it up and we'll see how we go. It doesn't look very dark out there but it's getting towards dusk now so I like to wrap this up before um, it gets too dark and it's already too dark to actually see the speaker properly. There we go, that's better so we can see it a bit more now. So. Um, me not reading the instructions probably didn't help because um, according to this, which is all in German and every other language it seems, uh, doesn't seem to be in English at all, but uh, here it says 15 minutes, of course it's out of focus on this camera isn't it, so yeah 15 minutes, uh, 24 hours for it to be extra strong, well I've sort of like I've stuck it up there and I noticed that the, the Velcro glue wasn't sticking so well. So, I've, well, it's not coming off just yet. Um, I actually tried putting it on the dashboard for, for a bit, but uh, that didn't work either. So, well, I'll leave it up there. We'll give it a try out and uh, I'll leave it until tomorrow and obviously fold the sun visor upwards so that there's not so much strain on the glue. So we'll give the, the sound a try after all that messing about with Velcro. Um, obviously, uh, for copyright reasons, I don't want to end up putting any old thing over the speaker, so I'll use one of my videos. Uh, as you saw earlier in the video, in the in, sort of in, mini intro, my van was very muddy. Um, we went for a usual walk in the park with Dolly the dog and my son. So as usual, when we go on our little trips, I use a, a dash cam because obviously, if I have a little problem, I'd rather have some proof. Uh, being a son per me car uh, can sometimes not work to your advantage. Anyway, um, so we'll have a look at this quick video that I shot this morning. So 
you can see the sounds pretty good um, full volume which is switched off There's some distortion with the full volume. We'll give it a try with the, the engine on in a minute. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's not too bad. Uh, it would help if I can switch that off actually. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad, is it? So yeah, I think we can live with that, providing the Velcro doesn't give way. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, and I'll tell you in a, another video to tell you about, to do anything about repositioning the speaker. But for now, um, we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to just plug it in uh, into the the hub. Um, I was remembering to use some light because it's getting a bit dark, and we'll we'll stick it in and see how we go. So we'll give it a try with the the engine on and uh, see if that's going to be any better. Which means I'm going to put the camera close to me because uh, unfortunately I've not got my external mic plugged in. Um, so we'll. Starter up. Hopefully you can still hear me. And now we're going to put some sound on. volume. I'll bring that closer. So we'll switch the, the engine off because it does have annoying, an annoying sound doesn't it? Yeah so um, uh, we'll soon see how it sounds when I come to edit the video but uh, hopefully that's going to be loud enough to hear over the engine. Well it seems to be to me anyway sitting here uh, but it's on full volume so uh, I guess that's one of these things, isn't it? So I'll put the the visor back up like that, so there's not too much strain on the glue, and hopefully that will be okay. And I'll let you know if it falls off. So thank you for watching this hopefully rather short video. I'll see you in another one. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. Hill.